there was news. News happened. And it was science news. And I wrote jokes about it. And you were going to hear them. <laughs> so let's get to it, guys. Uh, there was a new technique, new technique developed to help doctors preserve organs. Uh, yeah. We keep, the trick was is to keep them even cooler than we did before, right? So they're using chemicals to store them at minus four instead of four degrees Celsius, uh, which has been huge. It's made it so they can last 27 hours instead of nine hours. Yeah, huge nice. improvement. The next step forward is to see if we can store them even cooler. So there's trials to have them all wear leather jackets, <laughs> sunglasses, only deliver them by motorcycle. We're going to see how far we can go. Uh, next, this, guys, the strangest new side effect of climate change has been discovered. Uh, coral reef can't come together. See you at come. Yeah. What? Uh, yeah, let me explain. This is going to need some explanation. Okay, so coral reef, they normally release egg and sperm bundles only like three or four times in an entire year. So they all do it at the same time and they just sort of run into each other. But due to the warmer weather and climate change, they're out of sync and they're not doing it at the same time. And it's disastrous. Uh, it's a tragedy. But it's really hard to sympathize with it at the same time because this is kind of like if the guy who masturbated on the subway expected a woman to catch his sperm. <laughs> and they'd be like, why didn't someone just catch that? It's too specific of a thing to be mad about. Who uh, not? Move this straight on. Uh, scientists grew a lentil size cluster of neurons, pieces of a brain in a lab, and they've got it to start firing, and it's producing brain waves. Yeah, just wow. in a petri dish on its own, a lentil size is creating brain waves. Uh, after nine months, they are similar brain waves to what an infant would make. Yeah. Uh, all we have to do is get that little lumpy piece of brain on Twitter. This is a terrifying episode of Black Mirror. <laughs> <laughs> uh, koalas. Koalas, guys. You guys know that koalas are famously picky eaters. Most of them will only eat one type of eucalyptus. Right? But scientists have discovered that if you use a fecal transplant, you can get them to eat other types of eucalyptus. <laughs> Spread out their diet a little bit, just a tiny bit bigger. <laughs> I'm super eager to see this same science be broadened into parents of children who are fussy eaters. <laughs> you know, like, ah, Timmy just won't eat any of vegetables other than carrots. Oh, well, just feed her some of Kelly's food. She loves broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, in her book, The Nature of Life and Death, of uh, botanist Patricia Wichshire was recently trying to make the case for using uh, spores and pollen on crime scenes, even when there's no DNA or fingerprints, to try to uh, give more information to investigators, which uh, is obviously a good idea, but less good if the detective has terrible seasonal allergies like me. Because <laughs> there's a lot of extra DNA on the crime scenes everywhere. Yeah. That's thought all the way through. Um, I've got two separate stories about black holes, guys. Black holes have had a very busy month. Uh, one is two black holes recently collided, and scientists were able to look at the gravitational waves that were emitted and concluded that black holes have no hair. Yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, so this is a term. So, in other words, they're perfectly smooth with no distinguishing characteristics. They're just perfectly round, spherical objects. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's no indication yet whether the black hole will remain hairless because we're moving into winter and it's not in any relationship. <laughs> uh, and last, scientists have reported that the black hole at the center of the Milky Way has reached its record brightness, proving that I don't know what words mean. <laughs> I'm hoping that later in the show we're going to show you some of the coldest fire, some of the driest water, and an improv trip that's really well prepared. Uh, <laughs>